I can't use the Star Trek theme or I'll get copywritten. Da 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 We have video games to play, for shit's sakes. Today, we're gonna do Star Trek Online Incursion. Oh, I'm probably gonna be Klingon. That's cool. Discovery Starfleet, is this... I know, Star Trek Discovery. Forgive my... Dominion. Oh, this is the 60s Star Trek. With the, like... You know, with the women who don't wear pants. Hmm, now that's a... Will I be able to pick, like, Captain Kirk? Or just create your own character? Let's do this one. Andorian. Engineer. Uh, tactical. I get... Oh, I was gonna say, I get one fucking skin color? Or one hair color? Oh, this is... That's actually pretty cool. Oh, I like how they did this, but... Yeah, no, I was good. Yeah. No, let me go back to this. The skin color thing, I'm like, oh, I can't I just pick things like blue? Well, because they're human, so it gives you the range of human skin colors. That makes sense. Then if I pick Klingon, it'll give their range. Makes sense. I really want to kind of make a Captain Kirk. Kind of like that. Yeah, there we go. He's from Iowa, so that's pretty pale. In the movie, Chris Pine has super bright blue eyes. Shatner says his brown eyes. But the comic book version... The Chris Pine Captain Kirk has brown eyes. So it's brown eyes. We'll just call it brown eyes. Oh, that's like you can make a bloodshot? Oh, that's fucking cool. Yeah, depending on the photo, depending on like the press release, or depending on his age. Because he did Star Trek from like when he was late 20s till he was like 60. I don't know. I think I'm splitting hairs here. No pun intended. I don't know what I'm doing here. That looks nothing like Captain Kirk. Carl Egbert. Carl Egbert Conquistador. The USS Constipation. Engage! Finally! Heads. You can press the interaction key, default F, to talk with them. Okay, this is exactly what I need is a fucking tutorial because I have no fucking I love the way this looks exactly like the 60 ship. I'm a big fan of like real buttons that you can push. Call me old, but I'm not ready yet. I want to look. This is cool. Where's Uhura? Where's Spock? Where's Scotty? Let me out of here. This is a fucking farce. All right, I suppose I should do something. Talk to Captain Garrett. Cap, this is my ship, sir. Lieutenant, we've located the wreckage of a crashed ship down there. I need to get boots on the ground. Find out what's going on. Take a landing party down to the surface. Assess the situation. And look for survivors. We'll beam down right away, sir. Not so fast. We can't use the transporters due to atmospheric interference. We'll need to take a shuttlecraft down. Use the sensors to locate a safe landing site. Sounds good to me, sir. Awesome. Oh, so we're going into that planet that's f surrounded by fucking green, poisonous green smoke? Let's do it. Scan surface. Well, let's... Oh, the 60s sounds. I love it. Oh, wow. You are, like, frantic. And kind of cute in that hot alien blue kind of way. Ensign Tarsi reporting for duty. And then reach the shuttle bay. All right. Hello, fellow shipmen. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? They're just falling down dead. Oh, okay. I was like, are you just going to run by them? This is like... What the fuck? Why? Two people just fucking died right here. They just fucking died in front of us. There's people dying. Why does no one give a shit? Is this just a common fucking practice? It's like, oh yeah, we have fucking shipmates that just fall down dead. But fuck... Or was that part of, like, the first mission and I wasn't paying attention? Whoa. Hey. Oh, you can do, like, a... Okay. Yeah, I do. But you're the only one on board with local experience. Your insight will be invaluable. Uh, yes, of course you're right, Lieutenant. I am a Starfleet officer, and I will perform my duties. 
You can count on me. I never doubted it for a second. Okay, I'm digging the 60s one. This is the one I grew up in, like, the reruns in the 80s when I would, uh, you know, when we had, th back in the day when we had three channels and sit down and watch Star Trek. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Oh, it's even got like the same kind of stylings of of uh, the old TV show where it's nothing but like sand and rocks and there's really not much else. Hey, just kind of showing off my breakdancing skills. So speak to mirrors. Scan Debris. 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 You, look <coughs> you look just like a Zebris. What's left of a shuttlecraft's coolant assembly, according to my tricorder. Might be a crash shuttle nearby. Let's have a look. Oh, because you guys are you guys know what's going on and I don't. Lieutenant, you won't be able to get close enough to revive him while that thing's venting plasma. Those valves should shut down the vents though. Agreed. Those valves. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, stop with the cartwheels. Treat injured survivor. I, I forgot to heal somebody. You. We, we, you hold a glowy thing. Those things, they're out there. What things? Where? Oh, it's like a big friggin' orc alien thing with a spear. That thing's huge. Forest, look out. Oh no. Never fucking be a red shirt guy. That's why I picked a yellow shirt. Never fucking be the red shirt. Ow. Shit. Why am I... I'm just going to stand here and take the abuse because it's faster that way. Am I glad to see you? We thought we were stranded here with those... those monsters! We'll have you out of here soon, sir. Those supplies you brought will come in handy while we wait. Uh, just put them over there for now. You know, I think there's some old phaser rifles in there. Might come in handy against those creatures. Thanks. We'll have a look. There are rifles in that crate. Whoa! Show That's, the those fucking shoot. spears are huge! That's like the kind of spear that, like, takes a wall down. Shut the doors. They're right behind us. Got it. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> okay. Last time I was here, Scotty, uh, Commander Scott, electrified the hull of our shuttle. That drove the Torians off when they tried to break in. Think we can pull something like that off here? Maybe. If there's enough charge left in the batteries. W one button to close the door and that same one button to make it electrocuted. Fry! God, oh, oh, scan for heat signatures. Huh. Footprints. His hands are in the fire. Uh oh. Fellow shipmates. Oh, he's gonna cook them. Oh, fuck no. I just fucking stood there and took it right in the face. How the hell? Don't do that, dumbass. He's barely hurting me anyway. I think it's kind of a... We're over here. Help! You were about to be food. Thanks for coming back for us, sir. We owe you one. Pretty sure those things were gonna have us for dinner. Not on my watch. Way to be fucking humble. Now we just book out of here? Looks like we just book out of here. I gotta say, this game is a lot funner than I thought it would be. But so far, I, uh, 
Am I seeing things? Because those guys picking through the wreckage sure look like Klingons. Just what are the Klingons doing on Taurus 2? Let's find out. Ready phasers, just in case they're not in the mood for questions. Looks like they're not in the mood for questions, Lieutenant. Run. We're ready to go when you are. Hope this thing's got enough fuel to get us back to the ship. That makes two are of us. Ready to board the shuttle, Lieutenant. Congratulations, Lieutenant. I'm liking this. This is fun. This is a lot of fun. I hope that I'm sure that you could play multiplayer and and stuff like that. I'm gonna do. Let's see. We made it. Never thought I'd be so happy to see a shuttle bay. I admit I had my doubts in the beginning. Didn't think I'd hold it together down there. Every time I heard those things roar. But here I am. Thanks for believing in me. Couldn't have done it without you, Ensign. Thanks. We're going to pause that here because I feel like this, this is not really a good um, ending spot. It's probably just going to keep going. So I like this one. This one's pretty fun. Uh, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. If Boas survive the Lurpa, combat will continue with the Arn Wong. Uh, what do you mean, if both survive? This combat is to the dead.